together. Or, or, oh, trans channeling. <laughs> yes. Yeah, maybe complete with that. So I will would like to. Um, so obviously, it's my experience. We're all very different, and um, that that's kind of I take that for granted. But I thought I'd just put that in anyway. For me. The term channeling and even trans channeling is becoming extinct, along with all these labels of starseed, way shower, gatekeeper, healer, etc. But I do use them because it, um, it at least we're able to communicate <laughs> because there aren't any other words and we're up to, to reference these these um, experiences, etc. And uh, we, we are still navigating within these parameters. So <laughs> that's just a kind of a footnote. Um, but um, in, in my, so for instance, I'll just, my experience, um, I did do a healing course uh, and I might've mentioned it before, I don't know, but um, my experience on the healing course, um, I actually didn't want to do it. <laughs> my my uh, higher self told me to do it. Um, and, and then the angels, I felt the angels, um, I found 500, 600 pounds worth of money rolled up, but it was drug money that paid for the part of the healing course. It was just lying on the street. I gave it into the police station and then went back a month later and, and claimed it as mine. <laughs> it sat there for a month and then I could claim it. And then it transmuted the energy. It was all very perfect. But anyway, so... Um, on that course, it's taught about opening and closing your chakras. So when we've been in the density vibration, which a lot of us have, we've had trauma a lot, our energy contracts in. And when our energy contracts in because we're holding fear or anger, we're not expansive and free and open. We go Ooh, like this. So in order to um, be a channel, which we're channeling all the time, we're always moving energy and feeding energy and responding to communication all around us. There's radio waves that we might not be hearing from our ears, but it's going on all the time and moving through our body all the time. Um, there's all sorts of different dimensions, energies that, are, that we move through but that we might not be sensing on the physical. Um, so the thing is that we're always channeling anyway. It's just waking up to that. Um, so on this course, they were saying, okay, you need to open up more and you can do that by meditation, visualization, intention, open up, you know, through breath work, open up the chakras and move the, we imagine the chakras spinning more and the cut and there's color coming in and, you know, the pillar of light moving up and down and the crown opening and the heart expanding all of that gets all the energy moving so that we can channel the energy through so we can hear and feel sense smell receive the energies when we channel come can come up from below from gaius and, and spirit there or come down into the crown and down and it goes through a channel so again referencing shamans there's a term hollow bone that shamanic peoples in uh, native american north america would becomes um a shaman is a hollow bone is a channel for the energy just to flow through okay so when we're more um contracted holding density fear anger trauma the energy is not moving in our chakras we're more blocked the energy can't flow through we're holding on to something we don't want to see we uh throat chakra is kind of you know we don't speak um it, it, it they become blocks and so it's hard for the energy to channel so at the beginning of uh and a lot, for a lot of us it's very helpful to feel and sense and get an experience of oh i can't open my chakras and then in this modality, this way of being, if you, and a lot of us have still got a lot of trauma, it's then very wise to then wind the, the energy back down again. Because when you start opening up to channel, 
to be a channel you're switching on the radio in the old days when we had radios <laughs> I don't know when but you you're switching on and you're going hello it's like you opened all the doors and windows you go come on in I'm having a party for instance or you send out invitations and and then it's all everyone's come in and there's con conversations but there's a point where you went you need to you need to clear up you need to go to bed you, you're like that's it now um closing all the doors everybody get out <laughs> I'm going to bed or whatever it's the same thing physically it's like okay now I need to close down now when I went to my supervisor the supervisor you're right there yeah uh, the soup the supervisor um said i don't ever close down so i'm always open for business basically okay. <laughs> um so in some schools of thought that would be concerning that'd be well that's you know don't you get don't you get bothered the whole time you know if you, all your your front doors are always open then isn't it you know things coming in at, I'm like no no because i'm boundaried i'm like i'm not being bothered at this time what it meant was that my energy is moving and resonating that i'm got space and I feel this is how, this is what, not how, this is what Awakening Ascension is about. It's going from the polarity or duality resonance dimension way of being of opening, closing, mm -hmm. to being in a lighter way, always more spacious. So it's, yes, I'm vibrating and my chakras are open and my heart space is more open. I can still say no. It's a different way of being. It's a different way. But until you get to that, that's not helpful. You have to kind of move into being in that resonance. So, for instance, one time I had a, I was, um, I had to get on the, the underground, London underground at rush hour with a massive suitcase. <laughs> um and i'm and it's uh it's like sardines they, they call it packed like sardines no space at all in rush hour in london yeah rush hour in london with this big big suitcase and i went down and i went gave myself loads of time and i just i got into a space of an emotional state of being and thinking um i'm not gonna i'm just gonna wait uh, it's everything's going to be fine. I'm just going to go with the flow. That's it. And it was like magic. And then the train came along, opened up. It was sardines. <laughs> there was no space. I went up with my case. Oh, your putty cat. I went up. Uh, um, oh, what a beautiful putty cat. <laughs> Sorry, you just she wants attention a little bit. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> My one's been very quiet at the moment. Um, and uh, nor normally, usually, I don't know what that word normal is a bit. Uh, I know. Usually, people be like, like, they're like this, <laughs> surrounded by faces. And they'd be like, you, you're not, there's no space, so F off, basically. <laughs> um, and I just, I'm like, oh, is there space? And somebody moved and somebody else moved. I'm like, oh, I can get on then. So I got on and then somebody just sat up. Do you want to sit down? This never happens on the tube in London, usually. People don't talk to one another. And you, and it's like magic. Suddenly there was space. People were talking to one another. I was, I, I, I had, if I'd gone on more like, that wouldn't have happened. Interesting. Oh. So you have a, this very nice energy, so you transmit it towards others, and then this happened. They responded to that. Yeah, it created a different reality. Beautiful. Um, yes, and I don't. I'm not always resonating like that, but because um, <laughs> I'm human and 
Um, but it was it, it did feel magical, and and um, yes. So trans channeling for me, in an updated um, understanding of it, is an awakened state of being. In the old way of referencing it, is you open your chakras up, you put aside your being in control of your of 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 where you're navigating your experience your thoughts and emotions you put your your that aside and allow another being to come in and then in a way take over part or whole depends what you choose it's a joint decision um hopefully <laughs> ideally <laughs> and that being then speaks through you now, in my experience, uh, through awakening and ascension, we when we come when we move from the being in the three D physical so solid world, which is more um, differentiated with linear and line and boxes and physical hard, you know, me and you, you go into other dimensions where it's, there's no physical. The, the, separ the um, there isn't that separation. There are different beings resonating and holding a, a lot of light or different energies, vibrations um, that had a lot of force and intention. Um, they um, can feel almost solid because they are fully conscious of their being and their intention. And so angels, for instance, or other beings of light, I'm including you know, people having experiences of sighting of um, Merkaba ships, like UFO ships. They are holding such a clear, pure, uncluttered, focused um, energy that they create a form, a light form that is um, very powerful and very uh, focused. So it can seem, can seem very physical. It's not modeled, it's not, um, it holds an intention, a vibration um, that gels energies um, together in a way. So that is, one could say how the 3D was formed, how Earth was formed. So just as a ending on that, my guidance experience and others have that Gaia was 5D, which is a lighter vibration before she became into 3D Earth. And so she was formed through a higher spirit spiritual intention and then that was directed to then go into a slower more denser vibration not to say it's bad of the, in the physical mm -hmm. so when you start talking about channeling is a very va another vast area and i know i kind of i'm a bit i'm non-linear so i've gone all over the place but hopefully it makes sense um yes so as we're awakening for me we're in the state of um, being in the flow and hearing and sensing different beings in different dimensions all the time. <laughs> but we have choice in what we focus on. Otherwise, it'd be a bit overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. You learn to discriminate, yes? You say, okay, yeah. this time this. And this, time this yeah, time. I'm going to, yeah. And when some people, when they're, or a lot, I would say, not some, actually a lot, who start opening up psychically, they don't have that discernment. Not They're not used to moving and navigating between the different resonances and dimensions, and they start getting bothered all the time. And that's because then they're, they're learning about, actually, they have choice, they have sovereignty, and we have free will. We're not victim to all this, but we're used to being in victim consciousness, oh, I'm being done to, or this is happening to me, or, or because they're light beings, they're a bit, they're, 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 it's a hierarchy, and I got to, you know, the, the, I, A, they may not come back, and all oh, their angels, so I, ooh, 
like you know I, I and also we get addicted to the drama but it's like actually no there's a time and a place <laughs> um yeah so that's my um response to trans -time. okay i guess i i understand it and uh, i think i experienced like um, some things but not completely thank you um, i am i really oh, appreciate no. all these talks and if you have more time uh we we can do more okay uh, yes then just be tell your dog to behave is <laughs> and the we imagine the chakras spinning more and the cut and there's color coming in and